Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. As I have said before, these two verses from the third chapter of Proverbs that my mother taught me before I could even read have been a lifeline for me so many times and to this day continue to be. I was diagnosed with rheumatic fever at about the age of 10. That was in the day before penicillin and some of the other wonder drugs, so I had to be in bed. I couldn't even raise my head off the pillow and I missed about a whole year of school. I just had to lie there, so I had a lot of time to think. And even at that tender age, when you are faced with your own mortality, you either go a little bit crazy or you learn to trust. I look back on that time now as a great teaching tool for me. I learned compassion, I learned patience, and I learned that while I had no control over the situation, I could control my reaction to it. And I've been learning that ever since. My grandparents lived with us when I was growing up, and what a gift that was. When I would play the piano, my grandparents would each bring a chair and sit on either side of it, and we would sing hymns together. Sometimes, if I would slip into a little Beethoven or Chopin or one of the pop songs of the day, they would gently say, let's just do the hymns. To this day, I still love playing and singing hymns. And like you, some I like better than others. But what a wealth of spiritual and scriptural knowledge I learned and I'm still learning from that experience of so many years ago. In addition to my parents and grandparents, there were a number of salt of the earth kind of people who helped shape my spiritual journey in that little farming community in Southern Ohio. They taught me we must not only give what we have, we must give what we are. And now, so many years later, I am blessed to be able to continue to learn to gain new insights into what the Bible is trying so hard to teach me. I am so grateful to all of you, both young and old, for teaching me so well. Thank you, and God bless.